Welcome back to the Curious Giraffe Show. We're going to start with our song, When We Sing Together. When we sing together, I feel so much better. It's easy and simple to do. When we sing together, the day just gets better. I love singing songs with you. And when we talk together, I feel so much better. It's easy. So glad to be back with you today. And as you can see, George is being very careful and wearing his mask. And I don't know if you noticed yet, but our curious crew is very small today because we're all practicing social distancing to take care of each other, which means not to be too close. So I decided we should not be too, too crowded. So today I'm having a one-on-one -on -one visit with George, not too close. I wanted you to see my mask too. This is such a nice mask that my friend Judith made. And she put a little part inside that takes the shape of my nose so that it will stay on. So, if you were to see me at the grocery store, I would keep my distance and I would be smiling, but you couldn't see my smile. But I would be keeping my germs to myself and you would too. And we'd keep stay away. So, but right now we're in the studio. So, I'm going to slip off my mask so that you can see my whole face but just know that when i go out with other people i definitely wear my mask so let's see what today's curious giraffe song will tell us about the show are you curious i hope so giraffe looked over at dorothy and said what book and songs you'll share with us today. Dorothy said, I made a book to lead the way as yes, we share under one big sky. Oh yeah. Share one big sky, share one big sky. Give the world a big high five. Yeah, we're different and we know it, but we all get along. Cause we can all share and we can all care. We're different, but we all belong. Oh yes, we're different, but we all belong. <laughs> all right, so welcome back. And I did make a book. I made a book about a true story that happened in my life that I wanted to share with you. And to make my book, I just wanted to share with you, in case you have a book that you haven't seen yet on a bookshelf, and you think, okay, I'll make my own book. So you start with a regular piece of paper, and fold it in half, and fold it in half again. And that's where I put my title and a cover picture. And you turn it, and I put some words here, and I put some pictures here. And because I knew I needed a few more pages, I separated the top so I could turn it, add some more words and more picture, and more words. And if you want more pages, you just fold a new piece of paper. Let's see how many 
pages I got out of this one piece of paper. One, two, three, four, five, six pages. That's fun for me to experiment. See how that, okay, so here's the book that I made. It's a true story. Dorothy's turn to be sick. Dorothy always felt strong and healthy. She worked hard and she played hard. She ate and drank healthy food and drinks. She went to bed early and woke up early. One night, as she turned out the light, she noticed that her toes felt tingly. That's funny, she said. Oh well, it will go away while I sleep. But it didn't go away. The next few days, the feeling moved up her legs. First, her body felt tingly. Then it felt numb, like Novocaine at the dentist. Then, worst of all, it felt nothing. She couldn't feel the floor when she walked. Finally, Dorothy told the doctor how she was feeling, or how she wasn't feeling. I can't feel the floor or the chair, and I'm tired every day. It feels like I'm floating in space. Dorothy had a virus. It couldn't be seen, but it weakened her body. Dorothy had to rest and rest and rest and rest. Would she ever get better? Yes, day by day she got stronger. She gradually felt her body feel the floor and the bed and the chair. At last, she said, can we go swimming? I can't wait to feel the water. And then they knew that Dorothy was feeling much better. The end. So that really happened. And I really felt like, will I ever get better? But finally, finally, my body got better. So I want you to be encouraged that we all get sick sometimes. So that's why I called my book Dorothy's Turn to Be Sick. So I wrote a song about it, and I'm, it's an echo song, so I'll sing a line, and you can help George sing the echo, and we'll learn the new song. Let's see. I feel sick, I feel sick, it's no fun, it's no fun, my throat My nose runs, my nose runs, my head aches, my head aches, my eyes burn, my eyes burn, I'm so very, very sad, I got the germ. Catch a sneeze. Use your arm. Use your sleeve. Use your arm. 
use your sleeve. Catch those germs before they leave. And then wash with lots of lather, pretty please. My turn. And then wash with lots of lather, pretty please. That's right. Wash your hands, wash your hands, then wash again, then wash again. Use more soap, get more soap, and wash again, and wash again. Stop those germs, stop those germs from getting in, from getting in. Cause we sure don't want to share them with our friends. Cause we sure don't want to share them with our friends. And that's why. We wash our hands, and we've been told to wash our hands for 20 seconds. But how long is 20 seconds? Well, a lot of people say wash your hands and sing happy birthday twice. Because singing one time through is 10 seconds. But 10 and 10 makes 20, and then you've taken care of those germs. But I think we get tired of washing for 20 seconds and singing the same, same song over and over and over. So I wanted to offer you a couple more hand-washing songs just to keep it more fun. Okay, so the first song, Wash Your Hands, is by Charlotte Diamond. Wash your hands, wash your hands with slippery soap and water. Top and bottom through your fingers. Don't forget your wrists. Wash your hands, wash your hands with slippery soap and water. Lots of bubbles, no more troubles. Wash them down the drain. Isn't that cute? So now I'll do it with you. Here we go. Wash your hands, wash your hands with slippery soap and water. Top and bottoms through your fingers, don't forget your wrist. Wash your hands, wash your hands with slippery soap and water. Lots of bubbles, no more troubles, wash them down the drain. I thought that was a fun one. And my friend Stuart Stotts made a fun song, and he made up a funny word, washa. Washa, 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 wash your hands. Washa, 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 wash your hands. Wash them on your palms, wash them on your wrists. Washa, washa, wash your hands. In between your fingers and your fingertips. Wash a wash a wash your hands. Here we go. Wash a 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 wash your hands. Wash a 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 wash your hands. Make them all clean. Make them all nice. Wash a wash a wash your hands. Wash them while you sing this chorus twice. Wash a wash a wash your hands. Here we go. Wash a 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 wash your hands. Wash a 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 wash your hands. Yes. All right. Really fun. It's much more fun to think of fun songs to do that with. Now, I read on the internet, and I want to show you my shirt again. It says, I read and I know things. That's what I do. So I read books and I read charts and I read the computer and the newspaper to learn lots of things. So I have done some reading and taking notes and I wanted to offer you some hand washing tips. It says, first of all, protect yourself and others by washing with soap and water. And somebody said, warm or cold water? And the answer is either one is fine. Somebody else said, liquid soap or a bar of soap? Is one better than the other? And the answer is either one. And 
It doesn't have to be antibacterial soap. Plain soap and water work just as well. And soap and water is best. And even just water is better than not washing your hands. So even if there's not soap, go ahead, rinse your hands with water. That helps. And they say, if you can't wash, you can use hand sanitizer that is 60% alcohol. You want it to be that strong to take care of the germs. And again, they say to scrub at least 20 seconds. And I wanted to let you know, turns out that our Curious Giraffe song is the verse is 20 seconds and the chorus is 20 seconds. Let's try the chorus. I'll um, remind you of the sign language. I'll do it with you. And it goes, share one big sky, share one big sky, give the world a big high five. Yeah, we're different and we know it, but we still get along because we can all share and we can all care. We're different, but we all belong. So let's sing that and it'll be 20 seconds long. Share one big sky, share one big sky. Give the world a big high five. Yeah, we're different and we know it, but we all get along. Cause we can all share and we can all care. We're different, but we all belong. We're different, but we all belong. Yeah, so that's 20 seconds long. And also the song we sang at the beginning when we sing together, and I like to think of another one. How about when we get together? When we get together, I feel so much better. It's easy and simple to do. seconds long. There's lots of ways to count those 20 seconds. Okay, this uh, hand washing tips reminds us that germs can hide under our fingernails, so to make sure to let that bubbly part get in there. Air dry or towel dry, but make sure the towel is clean. And that hand sanitizers can deal with most germs, but not certain bacteria or viruses. So do wash your hands with soap and water before eating and after using the restroom. Okay, so I think you were very clear about that. Now, my friend Stuart Stotts, who wrote that fun Washa Washa song, also wanted us to think about the word contagious and what does it mean? You're hearing that Maybe a lot of people are talking about whether something is contagious and to keep our distance and to wear our mask. And so he made a song about it to help explain what it is. Contagious is a word we've all heard a lot. It's about what you get or about what you've got. Contagious is flu. You can spread it to me. I can spread it to you. Germs pass from coughing or sharing a drink. They live on a door or a floor or a sink. We hope we don't get them or pass them on through. Don't spread them to me. I won't spread them to you. You might be contagious and not know you're sick. But if we are careful, we can all do the trick. Wash hands, keep some distance, and cover a sneeze. I won't spread it to you. You won't spread it to me. It might travel fast or travel in stages, but more than diseases can be contagious. Helping, smiling, or happiness too. You can
can spread them to me. You can spread them to you, and I'll spread them to you. An epidemic is when things move, move across the land. Imagine if kindness would get out of hand with joy and compassion, no matter who. Spreading to me and spreading to you. Contagious is a word we're hearing a lot. It means what you get or it means what you've got when the whole world seems scary or blue. Spread love to me and I'll spread love to you. Love is contagious, I know it's true. Spread some to me, I'll spread some to you. Love is contagious, that's what I found. Love is contagious, so spread some around. Love that song. I love, you know, colds are contagious and germs are contagious and We'll do our best not to share those germs, but happiness is contagious, and love is contagious. So we can share love by a smile, by a wave, by writing a note to someone and sending it, by keeping our distance, but smiling. Sometimes I just do this to my friends. I go, oh, I'm wanting to give you a hug. I know I can't right now, so I don't share my germs, but there are lots of ways to spread love around. Stuart's song made me think of a song I wrote about the something being contagious. So listen to the song and see if you can figure it out. The kindness cat is coming. She's coming to your town. She's watching in her looking glass. She's searching all around. She wants to catch us being the best that we can be. Then, then you'll hear her singing her funny melody. Prowl, 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 meow. Prowl, 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 me, wow. Prowl, 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 meow. I wonder what she'll see. The kindness cat is watching for that special kind. Let's hang out and we'll have a better day. Prowl, 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 meow. Prowl, 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 me, wow. Prowl, 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 meow. I wonder what you'll see. The kindness cat is coming. She isn't very far. She hopes that she will catch you no matter where you are. And maybe she will catch you at your home or school or park. And one day she'll surprise you and you'll hear her funny bark. Huh? Prowl, 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 rup. Prowl, 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 bow, wow. Prowl, 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 rup. I wonder what she'll see. idea of love being contagious, it matches that kindness is contagious. Let's be kind. Let's catch kindness and share it around. <sighs> so we all care a lot about each other and we'll look forward to 
seeing you next time. But in the meantime, we'll keep singing. Okay, George? We're going to keep our social distance today, but here we go. Keep singing, keep looking up. Keep asking questions and never give up. Keep singing, keep looking up. Keep asking questions and never give up. Bye-bye. The kindness cat is coming. She's coming to your town. She's watching.